Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. If you've been here before, thank you so much for tuning back in. If you are new, I hope you like the content and consider subscribing. So today we are going to be doing a memory plan um, in my wall calendar. And this is just for the month of January 2021. And just different things that happen throughout the month that I want to um, kind of have that memory plan for. Now I've already... Um, kind of sketched out just different things that I wanted to remember on these dates um, in pencil. So I am going to go through and actually um, write it in my uh, paper mate flare pen and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so I've got everything filled out and then I also went through and just erased um, just some of those pencil lines. Um, just so that it looked a little bit more cleaner. But now we can actually start decorating. I did pull a few stickers, but I, I don't even know what I'm going to use yet. Um, and I also wanted to cover up the dates there because we're just thinking of 2021. And that'll give me some extra space to decorate at the top. So I'm going to wipe those dates out. white out New Year's Eve. Okay, now I'm going to keep New Year's Day. I'm going to keep Martin Luther King Jr. Day, but I do have some stickers that I can use um, for those dates. Let me just find those. All these date stickers um, but nothing has okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to pull it out of the um, lettered planner words lettered planner words by Kill of a Plan and this is the volume three so it's the colorful one the volume four is just all black lettering but this spread is actually just gonna be really it's not going to be super cohesive. It's just going to be fun. Um, whatever I choose to do. So I'm looking for the holidays because I know they're in here. All right, here they are. So here's New Year's Day. Day there. And we have the Martin Luther King Day in here. I'm not seeing it. So let me check out this one. somewhere but I will just continue on decorating because we will find it later I'm pretty sure it's actually in this book And it almost snowed that day, so we'll go ahead and just put some of these little snowflake icons. I'm pretty sure I have a sticker that says snow day or something close to that. So that's what I'm actually looking for as well. But I know that this book has, well, this is just kind of a, a mix of different books that I put together. Um, but I thought it had a little bit of like a snow day. Let's do this. Let's do chill in the air. Pretty 
room. There we go. Okay. And then I did have a vacation right here, but I've already put that on. Okay, so New Year's Eve, April Fool's cuss over. Kids did go back to school from the Christmas break right here. So we'll put that down as well. And I'm still looking for that um, Martin Luther King, but I'm not seeing it. So I'll probably just have to write that one in, which is fine, fine, fine. Okay, so these are some stickers that I found. It says you totally deserve chocolate. I'm actually going to put that right here because it says I was in pain and that's actually because I was still recovering from my wisdom tooth uh, wisdom teeth surgery Put coffee icon there as well and I got some grocery shopping Also did some shopping on the 27th for my sister's birthday. Did a little bit of crock pot chili this day. Now I was actually off this day as well for Martin Luther King Day. I need to decorate and um this is for my sister's birthday. And then my youngest sibling had a birthday actually yesterday. So I'm gonna, or the 28th. Today's the 30th. All right, I got some cookie icons that I found that I thought were super, super cute. All we did was really just rest this day and, and make cookies. So that was perfect. Now, I did also pull just some small birthday icons, so I'm going to use those as well for their birthdays. Now, this is the first time that I've done um, this type of memory plan, um, but I did see another um, content creator who's actually um, uh, Plans by Rochelle. Um, she did the calendar and I thought the calendar was a, a super cute, fun way to have something a little bit smaller, but still be able to see everything because I don't keep my inserts, like my daily inserts that I use. I keep those maybe for an additional year, but I don't keep them because those have like my cleaning list, my to-do list, and some of that stuff is irrelevant as far as like what you actually remember from that particular day. So I'm actually gonna keep these um, I plan on keeping these each year um, and this kind of being a place where I can just kind of go back and see what has happened. I'm thinking in February, because this is new, so I'm still trying to kind of feel my way out with this. I'm thinking though in February, I may try to do um, like little pictures randomly. So I actually have an image from that day, if that makes sense. Um, so I pulled out these because I wanted to say welcome 2021 and I think I'm just gonna put that at the top here so let me see how that would work okay so put the two there and then I gotta have a zero Okay. 
And the one thing that I really like about this is it doesn't have to be perfect. It really doesn't. You can kind of create this however you want it to be. Um, there's no right way to do it. There's no wrong way. All right, so welcome. I need an M. I don't have an M in the smaller letters. Okay, so we will take the larger one. And I think what I'll do, I'll kind of see if I can alternate between the smaller case and the larger case just to make it work. And then it'll look like I did it on purpose. All right, so let's see if we can find a smaller O. And I do see one here. Okay, so O. And then I need a larger C. done with the letters that we need. All right, welcome 2021. Perfect. Now I did also pull out the sticker book for the florals. Now this one's um, almost empty. So I like going into sticker books that are almost empty just so that I can utilize those stickers. Um, because that's my problem is sometimes I'll go and purchase new sticker books and this one's still pretty full and I just want to utilize the stickers that I have. And so we are going to use these stickers all over the page. Now this calendar I actually ordered from Target. I ordered it from Target. And if you wanna know um, which calendar it is, I'll let you guys know in the description. It's actually a really good calendar as far as um, the paper quality. I don't know if you guys can see, there is no shadowing. Like you can't even see anything on the back. So you could use like a Sharpie, you could use, um, really anything that you wanted and it would work and still, you know, and look really, really cute. So I'm just going to use these all over the page and then I'll also just use them in the spread anywhere that I know I may not add anything additional. way to memory plan. Okay, I want to actually cut this sticker. Put a portion of it here. Okay, and put the other part right here. And as you can see, these are the stickers that I still have left for this particular page. So I'm going to try to use them, but I can't use them all, it's fine. Let me just cut that on the side there. Okay, and you may think this, this is a lot, but I kind of love it, I don't know. I like for it to be full and super decorative. So we'll see how the end result comes out. And you know, like I said, this is my first um, time doing a memory spread like this. So if this month doesn't turn out great or I don't like it, then I always have next month to retry. And it's really not about how it looks. It's more so about the memories that you 
um, of course, had during this particular month. So I've got one more sticker here. Now what I'll probably do since I don't have too many left um, in this sticker book is I will probably transfer these stickers since there's not many over to um, just my planner sticker book. These are just different inserts that may have fell out or um, were removed or that I purchased online. And so I just put anything if I only have like a few left, for example, like this page, I can just take this out. And that way, I'm, I can just rip this page out. And that way I have like a lot of my stickers together. Now I try to still group them in the same place. So like, as you can see, I've got some florals here. I'll just place this floral there. Um, just different groupings okay so we've got some florals on the page just for extra color now I also wanted to bring in because we did a sleepover with my niece so I think I had some cute like bubble bath or like um, like a sleeping bag oh these are cute too this will be for the clean day Okay. Here they are. Here's some cute like little pillows. We'll do just some cute little icons on the second for my niece's sleepover. Let's also add in some popcorn. I love this book, it's super, super cute. Okay, Let's see if there's anything else that I want to do from this sticker book. I do have that class started, so there is a book icon here. Let's see if I can get that on. There it is. So class starts. That's super cute. I've got a homework box right here. Now this is really cute. We actually bought, what day was it? The 17th we bought new chairs for my office, but I'm not gonna use that because it's too big. But I do wanna put something here for homework. I'm just gonna put some office supplies. That's it for this book. Let me pull out this one because I know that there are some emoji icons in here. Now I will try to tell you guys all the different um, books that I used but some of these are like grouped together like in this particular book it's like just my icons is what I kind of grouped those as so it's like all my food it's all my craft stickers it's the miss maker um it's the tiny icon sticker book so I'll try to link all of the sticker books that I'm using uh, but I might miss some because there's just I've grouped a lot of my stickers together at this point okay now, I know I've seen those icon stickers in here. Give me a moment. Let me see if I can find them, guys. Here they are. Okay. So, especially like for this day, I wanted to put 
tutoring. Um, my daughter started tutoring. We had vacation. My son's school opened it back up um, after someone came down with COVID. And so I'm glad that everything is back well and good. And now this was a sad day because this was the last day that I um, was doing training at my job with the new hires. Um, so that was kind of sad because I didn't want to leave them and they didn't want to leave me. But then I did take a little bit of vacation time and I was off, 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 off. And then I came back to my new team. And so, so far so good. So I'll put a cute little sticker there and I wasn't feeling well on this day. So I'm gonna put a little note there. Um, now this is the first time since September that all of my um, blood work came back good. So that was a super awesome, awesome day for me. Um, let's see, anything else I can use? I just like this little phone icon, so I'm just gonna put it there. But I will say this is an awesome day as well. So on the 24th, I actually hit 200 subscribers on YouTube. Now I've got about 2,000 on Instagram, but um, I started my channel um, in December. I think it was December 20th to be exact. So you guys have been super, super supportive and I love it. All right, I think that is all the icons I'm gonna use um, there. Let's see if there's any more. Now this day, or today I should say, um, I'm going to be reaching out to a friend um, a new friend that I met who is in North Carolina. And so we are going to plan a trip for, um, I'm going to go up and see her next month. So I'm super excited about it. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do next is I've got this sticker book, watercolor. Now this one is a, a fairly older one too. Um, I got this one back in 2018. And again, I'm trying to utilize stickers that I normally don't grab for anymore. And so I just want to see if there's anything that I can use out of here. Um, as you can see, there's only like a few stickers um, left. So I like to go ahead and utilize those if I can. Now I do like this one. Let's see if I can place it here. So it looks like I can. I just may have to cut it, which is fine. Let me grab my X-Acto knife. I would definitely say if you've got stickers that you're holding on to use those stickers because especially if you are um, someone who purchases from happy planner because they always come out with such great stickers but then you forget about the old ones and now you've got a hoarding thing going on with stickers probably like myself <laughs> so I did vow unless there's like a sticker book that is like so me then I am not gonna be purchasing new stickers um, this year. I actually plan on um, making my own stickers this year. So I have to get rid of a lot of the stickers that I have. Um, and as you guys can probably tell, I've got quite a bit of sticker books. So I, my goal this year is to not buy sticker books, work on my own sticker line, as well as utilize the ones that I currently have. And so, this will definitely help me with some of those random stickers um, because I can kind of use them any way that I choose to. Okay, all right, now I think this is actually getting pretty, pretty filled up, but I just wanna see if there's any other icons that I can use. This 
says hello friend so i think i want to put that down right here okay um let's see if there is anything else i want to add i think again like it's getting super full um but i don't know i kind of like it like I said, memory planning is not supposed to be stressful or, um, you know, anything like that. It is just supposed to be fun, fun, fun. So that is all I'm trying to do is just have a little fun with this. All right, I got some icons here that we can use. And let me see if there's anything else that I may want to add. And we'll put this family weekend here. And I think that's, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop that there. Let me just put in M L K just so it's a little bit bigger. Okay. So I hope you guys like the way that this spread came out. I hope you consider subscribing and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.